this is Joel and I'm doing this video to talk a little bit about the Cascades framework for BlackBerry 10 Alpha devices and how quick and easy it is to develop applications using this framework. I'm also going to show you an application which I've developed using the Cascades framework in the later part of this video. So the Cascades framework is a UI and platform API and it's pretty well integrated into the QNX Momentix IDE. If you are already a developer who has uh, worked uh, using Qt and QML, it's pretty easy to uh, start using Cascades Framework because Cascades Framework is itself built on top of Qt. So if we have a look at the QNX Momentix ID, we have the editor here where you can edit the QML files. And then towards the right side of the editor is the Cascades Builder. So whatever is edited in the editor in the uh, editor is immediately reflected in the Cascades Builder. The Cascades Builder is responsible for showing how your QML file would look when it's actually run on the device. So it's pre a pretty useful tool because the changes you do in your QML file are uh, visible in the Cascades Builder as soon as you change it and you don't actually need to run your code on the device or the simulator to see your uh, display. Then towards the right side of the Cascades Builder is the outline section which uh, displays a hierarchical structure of the QML elements in your QML file and below the uh, outline section is the QML properties section which is uh, pretty useful to view and edit the, QML prop uh, the properties of the QML elements in your QML file. So when you edit a property uh, using the uh, property editor here the editor itself generates piece of code in your QML file. So all this together uh, makes life easy for development using uh, QML. If you look at the application I have developed which is called dashboard. Uh, let me just try to run the application. And I'm also using uh, the simulator it's a virtual machine which uh, runs on a VMware player. The simulator uh, helps me to test my application in case I don't have a device. So when I uh, launch the dashboard application, we see that it's being launched on the simulator. The application is a travel utility which uh, displays to the user uh, the, tra the travel information or the journey information. It shows to the user the speed at which he is traveling here and the altitude at which he is traveling, the distance he has covered since he started his journey and the time uh, duration uh, since the start of his journey. It also shows the user the direction in which he is traveling. So the application is built using C++ Qt and QML. The C++ Qt class is responsible for uh, using the platform services to get the geolocation information uh, using the platform services API. And then that information is uh, bound to the UI which is written in QML. And the QML uh, files are responsible to display the information to the user. So if I tr if I start the uh, application, we see that it's actually uh, getting the information and then displaying it to the user. We see the speed uh, being shown to the user, the altitude at which he's traveling, the distance he has covered since the start of the journey, and the time of the current journey. You can also see the direction being shown to the user. I also tried to uh, show a nice graphics uh, to indicate the speed at which the user is traveling and show show an icon uh, for the speed he is traveling. So for the current speed uh, it's, it's a car icon uh, and if the speed is much uh, greater than, uh, than the car speed then I'm trying to show a train icon there. 
so we see that it's in cascades framework it's pretty uh, easy to start away uh, to start developing right away and when, it, when I press stop the the application just resets itself showing the uh, user the data from the previous uh, journey try to stop the application and then close it so on the whole uh, developing uh, development using cascades using Qt and QML is pretty quick and easy that's what I would say and for developers who have already worked, uh, worked using Qt and QML it's much more easier. Thanks for listening. Bye.